Another person is admitting to defrauding taxpayers of millions of dollars in the massive Feeding Our Future scheme. Sharon Ross, the executive director of a St. Paul food shelf, was going to be the first to go to trial later this month. But as Renee Cooper reports, Ross today joined a growing list of defendants pleading guilty. Sharon Ross was not taking reporter questions as she left the federal courthouse in Minneapolis on Wednesday, minutes after she waived her jury trial in exchange for a guilty plea. Ross, the executive director of St. Paul Food Shelf House of Refuge Twin Cities, admitting under oath that the nonprofit got $2.4 million in taxpayer dollars supposedly to feed school children. But Ross now admits she falsified records, making it look like they fed nearly 900,000 kids over the course of six months, including more than 300,000 just in September of 2021. In reality, court documents say Ross's operation served only a small fraction of those meals, and she spent hundreds of thousands instead on herself and on family. Five Eyewitness News interviewed Ross before House of Refuge was a part of the sweeping federal investigation back in May of 2022. At the time, her federal funding was frozen, and Ross claimed it was hurting about 3,000 kids a week. We just could not continue um, financially to do it. So March, April, and all of this part of May, we have not been feeding the children uh, from the, uh, uh, the after-school program. So those kids have been going without. Fast forward to Wednesday, Ross admits she spent a lot of the money, including on vacations and to buy a house. Now, she's set to forfeit it all and pay back the $2.4 million as restitution. Now, in exchange to pleading guilty to one count of wire fraud, the judge did dismiss 10 other counts as well as a money laundering charge. When she was asked why she changed her plea to guilty, Ross told prosecutors, quote, because the evidence shows that I'm guilty, so I'm pleading guilty. A sentencing date for Ross has not yet been set. In Minneapolis, Renee Cooper, 5 Eyewitness News.